Okay, so we'll continue with our uh, lesson for uh, multiple linear regression. So uh, we're done already with uh, the regression model. Okay, so paano kunin and paano magkaroon ng hypothesis testing for the coefficient. In, so the general here, the general regression significant test or the extra sum of square method which utilize the uh, matrix methodology is that you have the function y equals x plus the coefficient, which is the matrix, this one, which contains the coefficient of all the variables for 1 and 2, plus the error. And we would like to test uh, the hypothesis that uh, the coefficient 1, I think null hypothesis, is equal to 0, meaning there's no linear regression, while h1, uh, which is b1, is not equal to 0, so meaning there's a regression, or a linear regression uh, effect of x1. Okay, so a general form, so ito yun, ito yung data natin, where x1 represent the column x associated with b1, next to represent the column associated with b2. Now, uh, for the full model, we can get the SRI uh, na data, ito siya, coefficient times x uh, transpose y, which is equals to k plus 1 degrees of freedom, ito yung MSC. Inya. If H2 is true, the reduced model, which is uh, y equals x2 b2 plus e, is equal to p e minus r degrees of freedom. So meaning, nabawasan ka lang ng isa na degrees of freedom. So you get the SS, uh, SSR for that data. Okay. So the test of statistics will be that this is SSR. Uh, beta 1 given beta 2 divided by R over MSC. Reject if HO if FO is greater than the critical and the test equation is often referred as the partial F test. So, in a test lang natin siya if there's another variable and already proven that the previous variables are uh, already uh, linear in terms of the regression model. Okay. So, I think uh, example. So, let's consider yung where band pa din. And there is a new variable, which is x3 and x4, that uh, modeled using partial f-test f approach. The new variable are explained at the end of this example. So, mamaya later ka pa. And we want to test kung yung effect ba ng, ng variable 3 and variable 4 is still a linear uh, regression, which is yung alternative or yung null hypothesis natin na hindi. So, to test the hypothesis, we need to determine yung SSR. Okay? So, ito yung formula. So, uh, BR, B4, BR, given that B2, B1, B0 is already no. So, ito lang yung pag-compute nyo. Kunin mo lang yung SSR na uh, lahat. So, may data ka ng lahat minus yung SSR ng uh, yung previous data natin. So, uh, pareho lang din to kung ano yung gusto natin sabihin without the coefficient or the interval. This one, yung example, yung SRR B2 B1 given BO is just uh, equal to this expression. So, yung summation ng NY, so yung 59907712, nandun siya dun sa original file natin yung ah, ito yun, yung SSR, regression model. Ito siya, yung 59971. Okay, given BO. So, 2 degrees of freedom. And in the table, ayun yan, yung nasa table 12 dash po, yung SSR, which is 5990. If we fit the model, this one, Ito na yung bago kasi apat na yung variable. We can use the same matrix formula, alternative, to calculate for the SSR. And uh, this model show this in table dash 12. So ito yun, in table dash 7 na regression. So ito yung data natin, makikita nyo na uh, may bago ng mga uh, variable. So apat na yung, yung 
yung variable, iba na yung degrees, uh, same pa rin yung degrees of freedom, iba na yung value. So, dito tayo. So, SSR given 0 is ito. Yan, yung regression. 60, 24. 4 degrees of freedom. So, apat yung degrees of freedom natin. Okay, now, next. Therefore, kung kukunin natin yung SSR B4, B3 given that B2, B1, B0, ito yung SSR, minus mo lang yung dalawa. Ito at saka itong previous data. So, maging 32.20. So, wala siya dito kasi this is a formula. So, ang gusto lang natin i-test ay yung 3 and 4. So, getting yung FO natin na formula, uh, di ba, for testing, ito yun, SSR over R divided by MSE. Okay, let's proceed. Yung MSE, yung bago na, yung residual error nung, nung, nung apat na variable. Okay, so, ito yun, yung SSR, yung na-compute natin kanina na 32.2 divided by 2. Dalawa na lang kasi nabawas na yung dalawa kanina, nag-prove na natin yun. And divide by this one. And getting from the critical, uh, the critical value is 3.49 and this uh, value is greater than. So, mas malaki siya. So, the probability or yung p-value natin is less than the, the critical which is 0.05. Okay? Yung p-value, critical p-value. So, we reject h of and conclude that at least one of the new variable contributes significantly to the model. Okay? Further analysis and test will be needed to refine the model and determine if one or both of X and X or R important. So, ito lang yun, yung may additional. But if you want to test yung lahat, you can still utilize, oh, meron akong bago na data dito. So, kinumpit ko yung uh, actual Y based dito sa coefficient. Uh, so, this is uh, just a uh, simulation. So, ito yung coefficient ko, then I have the predicted value. And, nagbigay ako ng, uh, for example, these are the experimental data for Y. So, ito ngayon yung itetest natin na data. That's three. See, kung gagana yung linear regression pag multiple variable for more than two. Dapat gagana to. So, punta tayo isa data. So, data analysis. So, then pa rin, regression. Then, uh, you get your values for Y. So, ito yung values ng y natin. Uh, sorry. Let's take it now. So, ganun pa din. Ginawa ko siya yung sa four variables. So, lumabas. Diba? Uh, ulitin natin. So, data, regression, uh, ito yung y, Ito yung, ito yung y. Ayan. Ayan. Ito yung y. Yung x. Kailangan ko yung lahat. Ang variable. Ganun din. Confidence interval. Output range. So, yun din. Tapos, i-click lang ko lahat. Then, okay mo lang. So, i-overlap niya lang siya. Okay? So, ayan na. Lalabas na. So, makikita nyo, dapat yung coefficient natin malapit. So, Yung 0, so medyo off siya, nag-negative 0 kasi in-adjust ko. Then yung so variable 1, 0.78, so malapit, 0.84, 5.96, so that's 6, 2.9, so that's 2, mas medyo malaki yung, yung effect sa x3. And this one, negative 2.56, negative 2.31. So meaning we can utilize yung uh, Excel regression to calculate for more than 2 uh, regression model. So, pwede nyo gamitin. Okay, so let's continue. So, paano naman pag confidence interval? So, for confidence interval on individual regression coefficient. So, eto, ang gagamitin nyo lang plus, uh, balik tayo dun sa Excel output natin. Regression analysis. Yung kanina. Diba? Uh, uh, eto lang siya, class, yung uh, lower and upper. So, ito lang yung lower and upper. Pareho lang yan, na uulit lang siya. Okay? So, kung tatanungin kayo confidence interval of the regression coefficient, ito yung formula, but 
uh, nandun na siya sa uh, output ng except. Pero dapat take note yung alpha, ha? Yung alpha na gagamitin ninyo. So, ito yung tinatanong. Ang coefficient na tinatanong ay sa B1. So, B1. So, dapat B1, variable 1. So, ito yun. Sa 2.74. Ang uh, upper at saka lower uh, limit at 95% confidence interval ay 2.55 to 2.93. So, yun. 2.55 and 2.93. So, nakukuha nyo siya. Then, that is the uh, interval. Okay, now, for confidence interval of the mean, you can utilize this formula. Pero hindi na natin ito i-discuss masyado kasi hindi naman siya usually tinatanong. So, ang kailangan lang natin ay uh, ma-generate yung equation and uh, makita yung mga coefficient and ano yung uh, SSR, MSE, tsaka yung F-test. Okay? Now, uh, confidence interval for on the mean response. So, ito lang yung gagamitin yung pero hindi na natin yan masyado hindi discuss. Okay? Now, um, critical sa atin is the prediction of new observation. So, yung prediction of new observation, just substitute the value. And you can have also an uh, prediction interval. Pero hindi naman masyado nang tinatanong yan na prediction interval. Ang kailangan lang makuha nyo kung paano uh, yung prediction model. So, from the model, itself, isa-substitute nyo lang yung value. For example, may bago kang data na uh, 10, 10 to uh, ano yung wala dito? So, kanyari, 5 at saka 100. So, 5 and 100, so prediction lang yun. Isa-substitute nyo lang siya dun sa uh, value nung, nung formula nyo. Okay? So, for the prediction interval, yung y not na yan, sinubstitute lang yan. So, kailang ipasok nyo yung, yung value dun sa expression. And, you just apply the formula for the uh, interval. Okay. Ito yung kailangan nyo maintindihan, yung residual analysis. So, for the residual analysis, if you plot the normal probability plot of residual, so basically, this one is the residual and ito yung probability. Pag linear yung trend nito, basically, uh, it means that uh, we have a, a normal probability. It's follow a normal distribution. And the model uh, is a good fit. Okay, good fit siya. Ito yung standard residual. Meron na to sa Excel. So, uh, sa Excel, nandito siya yung plot ng normal residual. So, ito lang yan, yung plot ng uh, percent at saka yung y value. Okay? Na, itong y value na to ay yung uh, nakuha mo. Okay? Yung actual value. Okay. So, ano naman yung important na, ng residual? So, ano naman yung important ng residual? So, basically, we need to check the adequacy of the, the model. And one method is doing the residual analysis. So, if you plot the residual with respect to y, ito yung sample plot. And, dapat ang makikita mo dito ay uh, if you observe for the variable, dapat you can draw a box na nag-scatter -nag doon yung model mo. And, uh, basically, uh, randomized siya. Meaning, hindi, wala siyang pinapalaw na, na ibang model. So, ito, basically, medyo malapit. So, ganun din to. So, tinitingnan mo, if you draw the box, medyo scattered yung, yung data mo. So, uh, this is just saying, be added to the model, uh, wireland is not linear. So, pwedeng hindi linear kasi medyo naka-curve. For regress store variable not present in the model affected the response. Okay? So, ganun siya. Ito naman, Para dito, so basically, ito medyo malapit yung sa plot. So, yung residual analysis, ito lang yung gagawin. So, ipa-plot lang naman yun. Tapos, mabiverify mo na kung okay yung residual. So, hindi na natin tayo discuss hindi naman yun itatanong. Ang kailangan lang is that you know how to calculate for the residual. And, meron naman na siya dito. Ito yan, yung residual. 
dito yun. Yung makikita yung residual sa Excel. So, that is the lesson number 11. So, okay. Thank you. And...